the world is going around selling its own idea of what love is and what love is supposed to be okay i know we're around the valentine season okay so um happy valentine my name is ifoma samuel and i am going to share with you the greatest valentine story ever okay <laughs> thank you for joining in don't forget to subscribe okay and share this video if you feel it's helpful all right so um, my daughter has been going all week talking about valentine and um i had this as amazing idea to not only just do our devotional in a normal way but to share the story okay so here it goes um in a far away land okay there was an old man that had two children okay so one of um the two sons were actually very close and very special to him and the older one was the more uh, what would you say the more calmer one the more mature one the one who listens the one who kind of does everything that he says okay then the other younger one is the one that really didn't care much he was the rebel okay the typical black sheep kind of thing in the family and um he did all sorts of things he went round and all sorts of vainness worldliness every imagine abominable thing you could ever imagine he was really way into that he got so bad that he ran into heavy debt and in those times when you can't you couldn't come up with payment you're falling short on your on your payment strategy and everything you may not only just be dumped in prison you may be killed so um he got into that kind of a bad fix and guess what he was imprisoned his father was so heartbroken he had to call his older brother and you know let him know what's going on with um, the, the younger son and um, the older brother left everything he was doing went all the way to the other side of the kingdom to find out how bad this time you know the trouble that his younger brother had gotten into um sadly sadly quite sadly um he, the the guard didn't didn't um, let him see his younger brother but he had so much of pain and agony and the hunger that he was um going through while while locked up in jail and um, he was actually supposed to be killed the next day. And his older brother found out all that information from the guard and pleaded with him, can I just see his face? And the guard said, no, I can't bring him out of you know, the prison cell. Someone has to stand in his place. That's how it's done. And um, the, the older brother spoke to him. He said, I don't, just want, to, I don't want to just um, see him. Since he's going to be killed tomorrow, I am going to stand. I'm going to stand in his place. And the guard was shocked and like you're innocent you're a good um, person why would you want to lay your life down for this sinner for this person who owes the whole world who has done all sorts of atrocities who is so undeserving so unworthy how come you want to lay your life down for him go on and move on move on with your life and the older brother said he's my brother he's my blood and i love him he said I get the story you love him so what like <laughs> he couldn't wrap his head around how this good man was going to exchange his place take the place of his younger brother and he said my father needs to see him my father needs to see him you know and I know it will break my father's heart if he you know doesn't come back home with him and some one or two things gonna happen either he you know he tried to explain to the guard how important it was for him to take his place and guess what the guard covered up his younger brother's face that was in the midnight covered up his younger brother's face and led him out and of course the older brother never got to see you know never sighted his younger brother and he was thrown in jail and um the next uh, morning the the younger brother was shocked what's going on here why am i out of jail and the guard said don't you ever come back here somebody has taken your place and he was like who took my place there is nobody <laughs> ever that's gonna ever take my place and who is gonna take my place and then the the people the people that the jailers are definitely going to know that something is fishy because it's not his face and the next morning he was quite curious he wanted to know who was going to be hung. okay and he saw his brother it was shocking the guard gave him a little note but he said he was too shaken and too frightened not to open that note that was given to him and when he saw his brother hanging there and being tortured and being killed it broke him to pieces it broke him to pieces because he was so undeserving he he it broke him to pieces because this is 
his only brother standing in this place okay let's take a breath here take a deep breath okay <laughs> that's what jesus did for us that's what jesus did for us he took your place that's the greatest love story ever that's the greatest the greatest and as easter approaches that is the one story that should be talk in our hearts and this um this um story represents jesus and us we being the lost brother we being the brother who doesn't want to comply who doesn't want to listen who wants to do his or her own thing jesus loved us so much so so much and it pleased the heavenly father to you know put him there in our place you can imagine how heartbroken um, it will feel for that younger brother to go back to sin after his older brother had you know stood in his place it's a powerful story god loves you i don't know who is listening okay maybe you're wondering okay what are you talking about i'm saying jesus loved you so so much that he shed his blood he took your place and that gave you access to freedom to salvation okay he gave you freedom to walk not in sin anymore not in bondage anymore but in grace wow that's powerful now let's let's take one scripture okay and i love this scripture so much as the book of first john chapter 3 and verse 16 it says hereby perceive we the love of god because he laid down his life for us okay and we ought to lay down our lives for our brethren that's what love is love is about selflessness is about sacrifice is about standing in the place for those you say you care about is about standing there in prayer standing there in time of need it's about you being there it's not about convenience okay <laughs> so that's the greatest story ever the fact that jesus loves you immensely is the greatest story ever and i want to say a word of prayer okay i want to say a word of prayer to you listening out there Let's take a quick word of prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you. We bless your holy name. We appreciate you for this love that you have for us. This love that cannot be that cannot be compared, that cannot be understood. This deep, deep love that you have for the person that is watching right now. Perhaps they're thinking, oh, who am I? Father Lord, let them perceive of your mercy. Let them see how much you know about them. Let them know that you know them, oh God. Father, come into their lives right now. Let them genuinely come to you, oh God. Let your mercies draw them in. Let them drink of that well of salvation. Let them drink of that well of mercy, Lord Jesus. Lord, we thank you for the fountain of life, oh God. Oh Lord, we worship your holy name. Thank you, Jesus. And as we go about, help us to love our neighbors, oh God. Help us to forgive, oh God. Help us to love over and over over help us to choose jesus over and over in jesus name amen thank you and feel free to share the story bye god bless you